I figured I'd do this at least one more time. I'm writing, a, telling a story about myself, trying to introduce me and the website to you, uh, let you know that uh, reading these stories and writing these stories and watching these videos is uh, very valuable. Um, the education I have is fast, and I, and I think, and the neat thing about it, I think it's the best education because I combine both science and religion in my worldview. I have a very global perspective. I've always liked the idea of world government, and uh, I have a global perspective of things. I, I'm a very patriotic. I like the United States. It's my favorite nation. I also like the United Nations, even though yeah, I, I don't. There's a lot of things going on in both of them I don't like, believe me. But I do like the United Nations. I like the United States and the United Nations, and all the other nations are good too. I don't hate any nations or anything like that. There's a few that I'm like my least favorite nations, but mostly I like. I love the human race. And um, that's what I'm about. That's one of the, my main teachings of what I say, you know, my, but uh, the point is, is that you, I believe that if you read these writings and what I've written in these stories, and even though my style is kind of amateurish, you know, I didn't go to school and get a lot of education. I went to school. I got some education from school. And they kind of pointed me in certain directions. But I got most of my education just by reading books. Thousands of books. And, um, you know, so I, I didn't have, speaking of eliminating the middleman, I, I, I don't really have that. I just got the, you know, I read the books that Albert Einstein wrote and William Marston and, you know, Abraham Maslow and all these scientists and you know explorers uh, and they wrote books about what they discovered and I read those books you know the Federalist Papers you want to be a, understand America and the American philosophy and the American culture read the Federalist Papers that was the stories about that they wrote you know back when they were trying to convince everybody that the U.S. Constitution was a good idea and they explained it in great detail it's like a book explaining the Constitution of the United States written by the people who wrote the Constitution of the United States or some of them anyway there's three authors three different authors and but I think I have a very good perspective it's you know I'm not any special or anything like that I'm your peer you know, I don't believe, I, I never did like the idea of having clergy and teachers and stuff like that. I like teachers, but I don't like putting anybody on a pedestal. I like that whole idea. Of we hold these truths to be self-evident. All men are created equal. I like that. You know, to me, the American Revolution was about abolishing any ruling class. We don't need no ruling class. The people will rule themselves. And, uh... We're going to have an administrative state that, that you know, because there's going to be a nation, you know, a state, and that's necessary. That's part of being civilized is having a government and all that, and we need that. And so, but the government is serves the people. They don't rule over the people. They serve the people, and you know, and there's got to be the rule of law and all that, natural law and all that, and the you know, civil laws. And, and, economical you know you need the economy needs to be well regulated to make sure it's fair and, and just you know freedom equality and justice for all are good ideas so i'm going to be writing and reading about linux you know and computers and home office i, I need to get kind of focus back on the home office theme because i think you know, teaching people how to prosper is a good idea. You know, you want to help poor people, you know, in eliminate the, you know, the income inequality. If you want to solve that problem, then teach the poor people how to work, how to earn money, how to make money, you know, and get really good at it. You know, learn how to make deals, learn how to trade, you know, make good deals with people. Make sure everybody you trade with gets a good deal. That's the first idea you got to 
learn is to make sure everyone you trade with gets a good deal. You know, work hard, work smart, work safe, work, you know, work hard and, and you know, have fun. Life on earth is an adventure. And so make sure you have fun and share that fun with the people around you and make the world a better place. You know, being productive is a very important part of holistic human nature. And you, you know, you have to be productive. Not being, being productive is not healthy. You have to be productive in order to be healthy. That's human nature. That's a very important part of human nature is being productive. So figure out a way to be productive, get really good at trading, whatever your skill is, your, your little niche in the free marketplace, the one worldwide free marketplace and exercise that and, and make it better, get better at it, you know, and practice and get really good at it and get good at trading. Um, and making deals with people is a good idea. I got to, you know, for me, I'm really smart. I'm not all that socially, uh, you know, graceful. I'm kind of clumsy. I'm like, you know, an absent mind professor, you know, kind of personality. I'm always thinking about weird things, you know. Um, but it's like, uh, I like myself and I, I believe I can help you. I can help anybody you know i'm not more important than anybody i'm not less important than anybody I, I, but and i can help anybody i don't care how smart you are how rich you are or poor or not whatever i can help you my my ideas and opinions are just my ideas and opinion i have no authority over anything you know i'm you know not any you know i don't I believe in the manifestation of God, you know, Baha'u'llah, and he is God messenger, you know, for today, this, this time on earth. And I, you know, but I am, I am who I am. I am Aoda, you know, and that's, Aoda is just a name. I found out that they came from the island of Man, and uh, Aoda is the god of, the hearth, you know, the fire, the god of fire, and the hearth, and, you know, and we're kind of thinking, you know, the family gathered around the fire and warmth and light and of the fire, and then they migrated in, in Southern Ireland. They were bred, literally bred like cattle, to be uh, warriors to defend the kingdom, and so the, you know, the clan, and, and then they migrated from Southern Ireland into northern Scotland. They got in a big battle over in Edinburgh and then they lost and so they were kind of exiled to as far northwest in uh, Scotland as you can get. And that's where I got my Viking and you know blood you know mostly were Celtic you know Celtic people and um, so Celtic and Irish on my dad's side Celtic and Viking on my dad's side and uh, and my mom her family comes from like central England so that's like the Angles and the Saxons so the the Celtic Viking Angles and Saxons are that those are my ancestors and uh, boy that's an in interesting story adventure you know my life I studied you know like Adam you know he founded his civilization he, he grew up in Turkey in in migrated into Iran, you know, and he uh, founded a civilization. He, and, and I believe all the stone megaliths like we find in Egypt and Peru and all around the world, you know, and all off the coast, that civilization, that was a global civilization founded by Baha'u'llah. And they built the pyramids, the Egyptian pyramids. And uh, it was an imperialistic, I, I'm getting, the, you know, this idea of the imperialistic, you know, imperial pyramid, I call it, where you have one man, you know, the alpha male in charge, the pharaoh in charge, and everybody does what the pharaoh says. That's the, I call that the imperial pyramid. And uh, so, and then there's this other system that's more of, you know, kind of a democratic, you know, system where people, Everybody's in a, you know, 
know, there's a team and they work in vote and decide what to do. And, um, but then when the ice age ended, sea level rose about 300 feet and it flooded all the big cities along the coastlines back then. And we find those cities off the coast of every continent. You know, they found cities all around the world. They were underwater, you know, and those are the big cities that built all that stuff, you know. But when, when, the, that, when that happened, it created a dark age. And so, you no, know, everybody forgot about what happened before that. And Noah, he lived, I think Noah lived like in Ukraine, the Ukraine side of a small lake, you know, inland sea down in that valley where the Black Sea is now. And when sea level rose and poured through the Bosporus and filled up the Black Sea, that Noah lived in that area and he was had built the ark and he floated around the Black Sea for 40 days or whatever it was and came to shore on the North Shore you know, on the south shore of the Black Sea in Turkey, right there by Mount Ararat. Probably the very first land he saw was Mount Ararat because it's a huge mountain, just like Mount Rainier is here in Seattle. You know, it kind of looms over the whole neighborhood. And that's, so they created Gobekli Tepe. Noah and his kids founded Gobekli Tepe and that's where civilization spread from there. And um, and we have all our history. You know, the history is founded by Noah. Is the his, is the civilization that we're in now? And then, of course, Baha'u'llah he founded another new civilization that will last forever. But and it's growing up and it's global and it's but it's uh, the old civilizations you know, the regional civilizations like China and India and Africa and Europe, those are all disintegrating. You know, Western civilization is disintegrating. It's pretty obvious it's disintegrating, you know. I don't know about the others, but I know Western civilization is in pretty bad shape, man, right now. And uh, But this global civilization founded by Baha'u'llah is... is, is taking you know it's it's growing and thriving and grow you know and it's getting more and more you know it's still weak and feeble and new and, you know it's like a baby you know doesn't even hardly know how to walk yet but it's there it's here now and so and i like to tell stories about that you know mostly i'm not trying to te teach people individual human beings how to thrive during life on earth you know, during your life on earth, I want to help you. No matter what you're interested in, whether you like computers or, or sales or whatever it is that you like doing, the ideas and stuff that I talk about are, they're kind of universal ideas. You know, it's just a worldview. It's just an idea. It's a catalyst to try to inspire you to, to unleash, you know, to, uh, you know, your inner, inner, your talents. You know, you're born with certain talents, and there, but th those talents are potential. You have to exercise those talents, and then practice and get really good at it. And it's just like muscles. You know, if you lift weights, you're gonna get big, strong arm muscles and all that. You know, and it's the same thing with the, you know, some of the your talents. You exercise those talents, and you get re really good at it. And so that's what I'm trying to teach you to do. And this world unity, this one world unity is very valuable information that will help you succeed in life. And, um, you know, that's what I'm here to do is to help you succeed in life. That's what I want to do. And that's what I am doing. And I, should, I highly recommend you read all the stories and watch all the videos because it's a valuable education. So thanks, and uh, thanks for listening and watching and reading the stories. And uh, peace be with you.